Hello everybody, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again today with another declutter video. Today we are tackling the rest of my makeup collection, I believe, and then a lot of my hair care and skincare, which is probably going to be the main part because, as you can see, this is my hair care section and I literally have so, so much stuff. I always get like a ton of these things. Most of this actually, which is the overflow, was from a like huge like 40 piece gift set that I got with like the purchase of my um Dyson which I should have a review up by now on that go check it out if you have not already but a lot of that came with like a bunch of these sprays and stuff which are pretty decently big and I really don't need all of this so I am going to go through and get rid of a bunch of stuff from here so everything that I'm getting rid of I'm just going to like put off to the side so the first two things I'm actually going to go ahead and just give these to my mom these are some Joico K-Pack Color Therapy Color Protecting Conditioner and Shampoo. So she has obviously, you know, she has color treated hair and she's always looking to kind of test out some new stuff. So I'm going to put this to the side for her. Then this is one thing that I will be keeping. This is the Way Fine to Medium Hair Treatment Mask. So that I am going to be keeping. Then I have this, which is a Pureology Soft Finish Hairspray. I don't really use hairspray that often and my mom actually prefers like a more firm hold so I am going to give that away. Then I have this Kenra Volume Spray Super Hold Finishing Spray. I'm going to see if my mom wants this since it is a super hold so I'm going to put that again off to the side for her. Then this isn't really hair but I didn't really know where else to put this. This is a Mega Babe Space Bar Detoxifying Charcoal Underarm Bar. I am kind of curious to try this out so I will keep that for now. Then I have this Nexus... Vital 8-in-1 Deep Conditioning Mask. I always like to try out new conditioning masks, so this one I actually am going to keep. Then I have like a bunch of these hair rollers, which I feel like I need to find a better spot for these, so I'm just going to take them out for now just so they're not taking up as much room. And then same thing with this clip. I have a black one that I'm using. This is just kind of like an extra that I was keeping in there. And then I have like these little clips for when I'm styling my hair. Those I'm just going to all move to the side for now. Then I have a ton of these like various hair packets. So these two are Hesk Keratin Protein Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner. I haven't tried this out before and I like that it is like a keratin thing, so those I will keep. Also, if you see this, I went to Comic-Con this past Thursday, today's Friday when I'm filming this, and I'm also going Sunday, but you have to keep the bracelet on and you can't like take it off, like there's no way to take it off. Um, but I also need it for Sunday, so that's why I have that on. Sorry if that's annoying, I didn't even think about that. I try to like keep it from swinging around as best yeah I really can't so sorry about that if it's annoying you um but then I have this from Rusk this is their pure mix blooming sunflower volumizing shampoo and volumizing conditioner I also have this from them which is the native fig replenishing shampoo and replenishing conditioner I think I will just pass on this volumizing one um and I'm going to keep the replenishing one Then I have this from Matrix. This is the Unbreak My Blonde Citric Acid Strengthening Shampoo and Strengthening Conditioner. I have like a blonde balayage type thing, so I'm going to keep this because I'm, I'm always looking for some, you know, things to help protect my hair and help re-strengthen it. Then I have this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. I'm just going to get rid of this. I already have a ton of other like leave-in conditioners and stuff that I like and I have like so many of them already. So this single-use packet I'm just going to give away. Then I have this. This is a Paul Mitchell Extra Body Sculpting Foam. Every now and then I do like to use a mousse, like use a mousse if I'm wearing my hair a little bit more wavy, which is like how it naturally kind of is. So I will keep that. Then this is a brush. This is just the Olivia Garden Pro Thermal brush. I actually just need to put this in the bathroom because I really don't use it and it's just kind of taking up space. Oh, this is actually deodorant. I didn't even know that I had this. This does not belong in here. This actually belongs in a drawer below. Next up, we have this Authentic Beauty Concept Amplify Mousse. I am going to keep the Paul Mitchell one just because I've used it before and I know that I like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass on this one. Then I have this Amika The Cure Multitask Repair Treatment. It's like a super liquidy mask, so I'm kind of interested to try that out. I'm actually going to keep that. Then I have my Way Wave Spray, which is another thing that I like to do, or that I like to use when I'm wearing my hair a little bit more natural, or even just as like a light hold hairspray. I really like that. So I'm gonna keep that. Then this is unopened. This is actually, I have used this a little bit. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Happy Moisture Honey Deep Conditioning Mask. And I really, really like this. So I'll be keeping that as well. Then I have these two from Sexy Hair. This is the Big Boost Up Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm gonna go ahead and just pass these on because I'm not gonna use them. 
Then I have this from It's a 10. This is the Miracle Leave-In Plus Caridin. I really, really like this. I was using it for a while and then I got like a new Bumble and Bumble one that I've been using. So I'm gonna keep that just cause it's still good and it's still actually pretty new. Then I have this little IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. I used this like once. I don't think I'm gonna keep any other like texturizing type things. So I guess I'll just hold on to that cause it is a mini. So I will keep that for now the living proof thing that I got rid of earlier. This is the five in one styling treatment. This one I will try out cause it's in a bottle. So I'm like more likely to use it instead of like one of those little single reach packets. Then I have this Playa Manoy Milk Leave-In Conditioner. I tried this once for an influencer review and it was pretty good. I do like the smell on it. I have to see like what other leave-in stuff I have. This is a maybe for now. I'm gonna come back to this one, I think have this from Karenique. It's the Scalp Revitalizing Shampoo, um, enriched with keratin amino acid complex, color booster, color treated hair, contains true tone technology, protects color, prevents fade, strengthens and prevents dry out. It does sound pretty good. I think this is like more if you're trying to grow your hair. So I do think I'm just going to get rid of that because I'm not going to use it. Then I have my Chi heat protectant. This is the 44 Iron Guard. This is my only heat protectant and it's my favorite. I really, really like it. So definitely gonna hold on to that. Then I have the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. This is one of my absolute favorite products from Briogeo. It smells so good and it's just my favorite and I really, really like how it makes my hair feel. Then I have this from Batiste. This is the Dry Shampoo Plus. It is the beautiful brunette one. This one, I don't know. Yeah, so I have used this one. Um, and then I discovered that I really, really like the Redken one. And that one has no color, whereas this one has like a brown tint to it. So sometimes it kind of looks weird or like heavy on my hair. So I don't know. I think I am just going to go ahead and get rid of that. And this is actually a mini. I do have the full size, which is like behind me. I think that and then I have like an Olaplex oil are the only thing I have over there. And then my... Bumble and Bumble, which I used earlier today. This is like my current leave-in conditioner. It's like a tone enhancing one that's like tinted purple. I really like that. But I do have the full size of this and I will keep the mini because I feel like that's really good for travel or just to have. Then I have this IGK Antisocial Overnight Bond Building Dry Hair Mask. So this is something that you could spray in your hair like the night before and it's supposed to be like an overnight like spray mask. I don't know, it's pretty interesting. I have used it before when like my ends of my hair are feeling like a little extra crispy and I didn't have time to wash it and I feel like it did help my hair a bit. Normally I would use like my Olaplex hair serum or my Olaplex like oil for that, but I don't know. This one is also a maybe. I will come back to this one as well. This is my alarm. If I pull this, it makes like a really loud sound. I should probably keep that in my bag. Don't even know how that got in my hair drawer. Then I have this from Kenra. This is the Platinum Invisible Top Coat. I actually like this a lot and I do use this on a, you know, pretty often basis. If I hold it up like straight, I am only have like up to here left. So it is almost all out, but I do really like that. So I will hold on to it and use it up. And I have this. This is the Marc Anthony True Professional um, Protecting Leave-In Conditioner. This one also smells pretty nice, but I think I want to keep the ply one instead. So I do think, like that all over, um, I think I'm going to pass this one on. Oh, then this stuff, I also have like some kind of like random junk in here. This is like a keychain that you could put like a lip balm in. So like, for example, let's say you had, normally I keep like a Mara Badescu one in it, but it's like a holder for your lip balm. So then you can just like use it and it's like attached to your keys. So it's pretty convenient, but those are just some extras of it. Then I have this from Redken. This is their deep clean dry shampoo. This seems like it would be very similar to the IGK first class charcoal uh, dry shampoo. So I am interested in trying that one out. So I will be holding on to that. Then I have this Playa Endless Summer Spray. This is one, it's kind of like a sea salt spray. I did use this once to try out for Influencer, but I am going to pass it on just because it's not really a product that I typically use or go for and it's going into the winter. So I don't really need like a beach spray. Then I have this from Fakai. This is their Super Strength Treatment Mask Roots to End Balm. I haven't tried this out, but a girl that I work with um, said she tried it and it kind of made her hair like when she was straightening it, it was like, it felt like it left like a film on her hair. So it was like kind of like burning the leftover product that was on her hair. And it was just like kind of weird. So I am just going to go ahead and get rid of it. Then I have this Way Leave-In Conditioner. This is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners. You can't tell because it was on its side. Um, but if I kind of tap it, you can see I've used up almost the entire thing. I'm really, um, I really, really want to try out the like Byredo scented one. The Byredo Desert Ghost because I really, really love that scent. And if I could have that in my hair, that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, I have this one for now and I am going to keep it. 
Then I have this from Fakai. This is a CBD Calming Supreme Scalp and Body Oil. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm not going to use it. Then I have this from Biolage. This is the All-in-One Coconut Infused Multi-Benefit Spray. This is really nice and I like how it smells and it's a nice little travel um, leave-in conditioner, so I am going to keep that. I have this sample of the Way Detox Shampoo. I actually have the like regular bottle of the Detox Shampoo, so I think I'm just going to squeeze this into my bottle that I currently have. So I am going to keep it, but I, I'm technically like getting rid of this. I'm just putting it into a product that I already have in the shower. Then I have this. This is the BB Bond Building Repair Treatment from Bumble and Bumble. It strengthens hair with a honey bond building complex. I think this is some sort of um, like leave-in product. Okay, so this is like a treatment you use in the shower. So you'll wash your hair and then put this on and then let it sit for about five minutes and then you'll rinse it out. So this is kind of like your conditioner replacement, like a hair mask. So I will keep that because, again, I'm always looking to rebond my hair. I just have some like various hair elastics and stuff. I have like some old like magazines or whatever. I don't even know. Birthday cards and stuff. I have this comb and then I have one random bobby pin. I also keep some like clear hair elastics around um, but those ones are just like on my desk so I don't keep it in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just put back everything that I am keeping. I decided that I am going to keep this ply one and I am going to keep the IGK because I have a pretty decent amount of space in here for now. And the stuff that I'm giving my mom I'm just going to throw in here just so that it's like not out but I am going to give that to her. And then I have all of my various packets and such. I'm just going to throw like right on top. Alright, so this is what the drawer is looking like. Um, there's obviously a lot less stuff in here and I'm feeling pretty good about it. So that's how this drawer came out. And yeah, I guess we will go ahead and move on to my skincare.